see. Hey, that's the little man. Amen, say amen. This has been a highly requested video for one individual on my Instagram. You've asked me to make this video for, I don't know how long now. It's been over a month, five months. This is before I even went to the field and fire nights and all kind of stuff. Uh, I apologize for the delay of the videos, but a lot, of, a lot going on behind the scenes from me getting in an accident and being messed up for a couple of weeks and back still hurting a little bit, but a whole lot better. I can work on stuff like that now, but my back still, still need to be hurting. But I had to take a little break in the video just for personal reasons behind the scenes and due to that as well. But I've been recording content for y'all. I've been recording content for y'all. And I just wanted to make this video for a particular person. I think his name was David. Pretty sure that was David. But anyway, um, if I say it wrong, I'm gonna chop it out. But I'm pretty sure that was David. But he wants to know what's on my barber station. And as y'all can see, I kind of upgrade the station. I know you see some shows here. I don't know if I've showed you guys the views before, but I'm gonna give y'all a walk around of my whole station. I'm literally in between clients right now. I have a client that's coming in the next like hour, so I got a little bit of time to record this video. So with all further ado, I'm gonna show you guys what's on my barber station, right? So let's go ahead and get it. First and foremost, let's just, obviously if you guys don't know, I cut, out, I cut out of my house, right? Not in the shop anymore. I'm not in El, uh, in El Paso with Lamont at, um, what you call it? Legacy Barber Studios, I'm not there anymore. I've been cutting out my house since I got here. So, I'm gonna show y'all around. So let's go ahead and flip the First camera. First and foremost, my barber station. Boom, check the vibe out. Check out the vibe, right? Check out the vibe. A lot going on here for a small little, you know? So the barber station, first and foremost, lights. I got these two ring lights that I got off of, uh, I got this off of eBay, right? These are like 80 bucks, they're 18, 18 or 18.5 inch ring lights, right? Change the color on them. You can make it warm, make it super white, all the good stuff. So, yeah, as far as lights. Now I got this mirror. And when I say what's in my barber station, I'm gonna just show you guys around. This is the, the what's in my barber station is my whole setup. I'm gonna make this a whole setup thing, video. So we got my mirror. I got this mirror off of Amazon. It's an LED mirror. I can't find this one anymore, but you know, boom, there you go. It doesn't change the color or anything like that. I also have another one for when clients actually walk out and they wanna get another look at themselves. Boom, hit the light right there. Fancy smancy, right? Fancy smancy. You can change the color on it too. So, there you go. Always gotta make sure you keep the mirrors clean because that's important. Now back to the station over here. My barber chair. This is the barber chair that I got from Legacy Barber Studio. Uh, Lamont gave it to me. Well, actually he didn't give it to me, but he sold it to me. This is the same chair that was in that music video. Um, my barber that I did for Al Cutter. So, and my top kind of ripped because I stepped on it and was on the ground. So yeah, messed up. But it's my first barber chair. Not too bad. Way leveled up from when I had that Walmart chair when I first started when I was back in the Apostle in that one bedroom apartment. All right, so we have this nice floor mat. Obviously, barber related. And I used to just have it to where, I used to actually have it to where I had these, um, workout tiles over here but i don't know i just got tired of that and i just wanted to change it up and i feel like this looks a lot better i do want to get that little thing that goes back here but you know one day at a time but yeah mat chair lights mirror right some of the outside things that have you know a little motivation pause if you want to a little motivation obviously it goes to black and gold that's my color scheme we've got bob marley i got this sad where did I get this from? I got this from, um, dang, what's that place called? Uh, Burlington Coat Factory. That's where I got this. I got this from Ross. So I got this in Burlington Coat Factory out here in Colorado Springs. I got this from Ross in El Paso, Texas. And I got this frame for Walmart, but my sister gave me this picture. It's Bob Marley, if you guys don't know, I have a lot of Bob Marley related stuff. And it's a whole bunch of Bob Marley pictures. Right? A whole bunch of Bob Marley. Into that Bob Marley. Boom. 
Y'all can see, hope y'all can see it. I know the light's kind of in the way, but yeah, y'all can see it. I have this stone that I got from a friend. I forget what it is, but I got that from a friend. And I put it with this dream catcher. I'm trying to catch all my dreams, you know what I'm saying? So, and I got that from, I got this from, I believe I got this from uh, when I went to California. All right. I got another mirror right here. Don't worry, we're going to get to the good stuff. I got another mirror right here. I got this I actually got from the Soldier Barber Life channel. That's my boy right there. Uh, he's also active duty. He did a giveaway. That's what I want. And I just want to have it on the wall. I do have one on my station that I bought. But, you know, just some, a memory to remind me of him. You know what I'm saying? Another soldier uh, uh, service member out here doing our barber shit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, got a clock because you got to always know what time it is. Rise and grind makes sense, right? All right. Now, now that we got the lights, booster seat, all the good stuff, right? Now let's get to what's on my barber station. First and foremost, cape, apron by Illusion. Shout out to Illusion. They actually have one like this in his white. With the roses, I want to get that one next. But, all right, so I just got these shells. These shells I got off Amazon. I think they're like 20 bucks or something like that. And I used to have all this stuff in my drawers, but it was taking up a lot of space. So I got these shells. I got this color enhancement card. That's from, uh, I think it's Harvey Havy, whatever. Uh, this guy with his enhancements. I have this review coming up soon as well. But with that, you got the uh, color enhancement card. Just some colors up here. Tim colors. I use these on my son before, and if I ever get any parents that want to bring their kids and just get some fun little colors in their hair when I do their hair, it washes right out. It's not permanent, it's semi permanent. It'll wash right out. It's no issues. I got my color enhancement, as you see. This one, same thing. I got the Kiss Express back there. I got some Topic hair fibers. I got some more Topic. This isn't, uh, in, uh, this is the elegance. This is also topic I just put in there and that's actual brown. So it's like a dark brown and this one is a black. The gel I use, everybody was wondering what gel I use when I have my sponge curl, that's what I used. I have face mask, which I haven't used in the client yet. I need to actually change up my menu on there. So that's to come. I have this uh, hair texturing powder. I've only used this like twice. So yeah. Um. Gel, this is what I use. This stuff, if you ever seen videos and people use like the foam on, on people's hair, usually black folks hair, this is what they use or in braids, they use that same stuff. 245 shaving gel. I have some olive oil hair moisturizer. We have some black magic, uh, some African cherry, the spray. It's pretty much, it's oil sheen. Oil sheen right here. A lot of people like this smell as well. Um, some hair holding spray and then I use this too this is a good holding spray um I don't use this when I do hairlines I use this for hairlines this is primarily just for the hair if you're trying to like <laughs> I use this just for someone's hair like this I use only for hairlines and I did use this to like style him a little bit today the kind that I had but this one right here and I'll probably throw a video in there just somewhere on the side or something but and then also this you use this for the uh hair I heard some people use that for their weeds or something. I don't know, but whatever. All right, next, obviously, we got the mirror over here. If you guys haven't seen, I did a review on this hair dryer. I got this from Walmart. Still works. Nothing wrong with it. Works perfectly fine. All good to go. I would love to have a, ba a babyless one just because it will match my color scheme up here. But it is what it is. I ain't got that kind of money. $30, $35 hair dryer from Walmart. Works great. Got some views in that video. Shout out to everybody who looked at that. This is just some hair, uh, not hairspray, but just some, you know, deodorizer just for your house. They ain't got nothing to do with the station. But right here, I, uh, I got some essential oils. Uh, this is pretty much for my diffuser, which actually is empty, but usually I'll have that running. Actually, let me go ahead and do that right now. Hold up. Okay, we back. I just had to give y'all a real feeling of what the shop look like when I'm cutting, you know what I'm saying? Got the um, diffuser on, smells really good. I learned this from Lamont. It's not all about the haircut, but it's like the experience as well. He had his own ways to give you experience and he actually had one of these, so that's where I got the idea from. So I love just the aroma, just, 
it gives for a good experience. I don't know who doesn't like smell good stuff. Like everything that I use smells good. The hairspray that I use, even the um, even the enhancements. Somebody said that they liked how that smells. So whatever, you know, everything got to smell good to it. All right, so coming over here, we have our shears. None of these are expensive shears. These are all cheap shears that I got either from the Bee Supply or from a, a clipper. Like this one I got with a clipper that I haven't showed you guys the video yet. This one came with that one. So you got your thinning shears and just the uh, cutters. They actually work pretty good, surprisingly. This is a shear. You guys can see the name. It's just a shorter one. It's a long one. Honestly, the only ones I'm missing are the curved shears, uh, which are pretty much shears for animals, but you get them for people who have Afro. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get that eventually, so I'm trying to like get those. Here's some other ones I got, just some cheap ones from Amazon. Just some, uh, some gold shears. Honestly, these are like really dull. They're pretty crappy, not gonna lie. Oh, shit. Uh, don't worry about that. I don't use these anyway, but since I bought them, I keep them in there because I mean, I bought them, like, <laughs> they're going to be used or they're going to be display. So that's what it is. Curl sponge. I have my actual uh, neck tapes. My air, uh, cordless air compressor by Quavina. Shout out to Quavina for sending me this. Actually, they sent me all of them. I think I bought one and they sent me two. Um, my vibe effects. I'm not going to lie. I have never used this on the client yet. I gotta put this on the on the menu or something. But it still works and everything. I, I, I have not used it yet. <laughs> I haven't used that yet. It just sits there. I gotta put that on my menu, right? I have so this this is my this is my lineup right here. Okay, y'all. This is my lineup. Don't get it twisted. I'm gonna show y'all some more clippers, but this is the lineup for right now. We got the X the Gamma X Evos. With the X Pro blade, right? They have a new blade out. I want to get it so I can put it on there. I have the original uh, Gamma Ergo, but with the Fusion blade, which is now called the Vapor blade. But I love this. I still love this clipper. I haven't got the X Ergo yet. I would love to have it, but I haven't got it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Funds is funny. You can't just be spending money like that sometime, you know? So. I have my hitter. This actually I had for, I got these when I was deploying Koi, if you guys remember that video. These are my custom effects. Funny thing is my custom effects look like the new Gamma Boost, I mean the, uh, the Babeless Boosted, or Babeless Boost. But I had the other blade on the black one, but I changed it to the original gold blade. Cause we all know that's the hitter, but the, the gold uh, DLC blade was, I mean the black DLC blade was good as well. I just wanted to switch it up because I want to change this to a taper blade. I had a fade blade on here. The taper blade is my favorite blade. I don't care what nobody says. I love that blade. And I just wanted them to match. So that's why I put that blade on there actually. And I switched it up. You know, I did get these um, stands. I have an unboxing of that as well coming out. Like I said, I got a lot of videos that I haven't put out for you guys yet. Shout out to Babe Listo. These gold stands lit. It, look, it just looks so nice. Then I have the gold shaver. I've had this for probably like, I don't know, like two years. I had this when I first, this is the, this is the original shirt that I actually got when it first came out. Back when I had the all gold set, when I had the all gold babeless. So I still got that, still rocking strong. I would see some aftershave, blade cleaner, oil. It's a spray thing. If you wonder where I got this from, eBay, $10. <laughs> Some of y'all go ask. If y'all wonder about my kitchen, I literally just came from Walmart. So yeah, don't worry about that. And I'm going through like a whole bunch of my old stuff that was like in my sink. I kept some of my barber stuff over there. So I'm like, put all that stuff out. Old, I don't show you guys. Cause this is going to be a bloggy vlog. I got old, uh, you can see like guards in here and stuff that I didn't want, that I didn't use. I was like, man, I'm just throwing them away. Cause they just taking up space. Right? All right, back to over here. We got our disinfecting jars with our, you know what I'm saying? Gotta have the stuff in there. So I got the barber side in there. I have two because sometimes I just run out of room and one, so I just need to make another. I just have to have two. 
because sometimes I just want to put my combs in one and all my guards in the other one. That system seems to work fine for me. If I just try to use one and I swap after every client, it just doesn't work for me. I don't know how you guys do it. You guys use the same guards after the, after the, for like for the next client. I can see maybe if you spray it with this, but I just like to just put my guards in there. And we'll, I'll show you guys my other guards of why I do that, because I have plenty of guards. All right, speaking of guards, newest guard system over here. Like I said, I got an unbox coming for y'all. The new Babeless guards, well, they're not new, but they're newest guards, right? So that's my that's my lineup of guards, so what I use, I use the Babeless set. Um, I used to have the gold ones, but they started fading. I left them in the barber side too long, and the gold started fading out, so I was like, let me just go ahead and, and I got these. These are the razor blades that I use. I use the green ones, the green box too. I didn't see a difference, honestly. But that's the brand I've been using since I started, so I just stick with what I know. My shaver. This is a level three shaver right here. I actually love how the shaver is because how it has the, uh, the blade exposed. I like how that one is compared to other razor blade holders. And like the blade is like barely showing. I don't like those ones like that. I like my blade exposed a lot. All right, now I'm down to my next lineup. I just put this lineup out here yesterday. So we have another Gamma Ergo, but there's something different about this one. Yes, sir. We got this Andis, the Andis Master, uh, the Fade Blade on there. My boy Lamont, like I said, back at uh, Legacy Barber Studio, he had this set up and I just put this on here yesterday and I used it today. I'll show you guys the haircut that I used. Actually, it's the haircut that I showed earlier, but I guess I'll replay it again so I can see. But that's the, um, that's the haircut I used for this setup right now. I used this clipper. I have another Gamma uh, X Evo. Shout out to shout out to Gamma and Stylecraft because they sent me like three of these and one of them I did for the giveaway. So you guys can see that I kept two of them for myself and I gave one away. And like I said, I have that X Pro blade on there. This thing was chopping through the bulk of, of, of his hair, man. Chopping through it when I put that ball line in. All right, so this right here, this is the, uh, the Ovalux. And I took the regular blade off and I put the Gamma blade on there. Reason being is because, I mean, I put the Anis blade on there, so I just put the Gamma one on here. Honestly, that's what happened. So, you know, floating lever. And it does have the stretch bracket on there. So if you wonder, why is that blade so high up there? Like, I, I, got the, the, um, I got the stretch bracket on there. So I guess the stretch bracket fits that because it's still an Andis. I made a wall, quote unquote, system of how everything fits. You can put a wall blade on there if you want to. I have Slimline Pro. This is good to have my station. I use that for when I have kids with small vertical bars. You know what I'm saying? It's just good to always have a smaller trimmer on your station and another Babeless Shaver Silver because yeah, that's the lineup. Hair duster. And yeah, that is my, this is this is my lineup. This is my essential lineup. This is my second up. But I just use this today because I just want, I just switched. I literally just put this on last night. So I want to use it. I've used this before, but I haven't used this setup at all yet. And I just put this blood on there, so. And I changed the case. I had the rose gold one on there, so. I switch it up. We got the black and gold, because my color scheme. We got the silver just because, you know, traditional. All right, going down, pause. So, as you can see in here, I'm not gonna go through all these, but this is just another, uh, another thing of my clippers. Uh, this is a clipper that I'm going to actually do a review on. This is a clipper from Amazon. I don't know if you guys ever seen this one. But yeah, unboxing video coming soon on that. I got the monster clippers under there. Um, I have the bevel all in one. Jero 2020C, 2020 I have the Starcraft Apex. Like I said, I, I love this Clipper and the Rebel, but this lineup, I, I love that Ergo. But like I said, don't get me wrong. I had the Ergo on my station for a long time and I just wanted to switch it up. So that just happens sometimes, you know? Got that Fusion Blade on there. Thing chops. But like I said, I just want to change it up on my station because every barber knows that for a while you just want to change it up. Limerol back there. All these clippers over here, you guys can see. I have I have unboxing and reviews for all these 
Clippers in here. I have a lot. Add Moco. Add on. Lamarol. The Andes uh, Master Replica. Overlux. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. Well, I changed the blade on it too. I think I changed the blade on that one. I don't think it's, I don't remember. I've been changing the blade a couple of them. Some of the trimmers. Overlux. I'm going to allow a little, or that was an uh, AliExpress one. VGR. Still need to put that uh, Andis blade on there. We got the gold Andis Master. The Andis thing feel like a break after touching those other clippers. You know what I'm saying? You know, loudy. So we got clippers to look in here. You know what I'm saying? Um, also, this is the trimmer for that other Amazon clipper I did. You know, came in a set. So yeah, got that. So that's my other clippers. Right there, if you guys want to, there we go, I got a lot of clippers. This is just stuff I had dry that was in the barber side, right? But, you know, it is what it is. Back here, I have all my uh, my wave greases, pomades, uh, sponge curl cream. I got gels over there, jam, uh, freaking hair vitamin grease and stuff, like, you know, Blue Magic and Dew Grow, all that good stuff. I have in my drawers, here we go. Combs, brushes, stuff like that. My monster, got some Stylecraft stuff in here. A new comb set, you know. Now this is, this is my additional, I put my brushes in here, additional blades, stuff like that goes in this drawer. Also, this is by Hunter. Shout out to Hunter. This came with my JRL 2020C. So, a 22C and 22T. Well, I got that combo. That came in it. It has some extra stuff in there. I already went through that drawer. This drawer, I just got some, you know, chalk pencils, some additional hair fibers, um, the tops to my compressors. I like to use the clear ones. As you can see, I like those as better because these ones right here, these ones, they get stuck because when the paint goes in the threads right here, it, and it's hard to open it up. They said I got gloves in there, and that's pretty much that's all that's in this drawer. The next drawer I have, this is, just, I'll talk about all my guards. Look at all these guards. Guards. Overless guards. Stylecraft guards. Who is this? Stylecraft guards. Wall guards in there. The original Babyliss guards are in here. I have my bevel guards and blades in here. Another set of gold clipper guards. And I got a lot of guards. So that's why I said I need two of those, uh, two of those because, two of those jars because I just have a lot of guards. If I don't want to use them, you know, I don't, I don't like to cross contaminate. I have very good, just when it comes to cleaning. Anyway, this is my do rag drawer. This is, some of this is, well, yeah. A lot of these are mine. I got a new set and I just threw them up in here. And then the other ones are for clients. So I haven't taken mine out yet. I just need somewhere to put them real quick. This is my face shield. I use this for when I'm putting hairspray on clients or whatever so I don't get all that stuff in my face. Right the shades, got some cords in here, some other chargers, some Q-tips, just in case, you know, need some. I have this in here. I have not used this yet. Shout out to Stylecraft and Gamma though. But I haven't, I haven't used this heat stroke yet at all. Like, I haven't used this at all yet, not one time. And the reason being is because I don't have any clients that come in with beers just because of my, um, because of my clientele is a lot, mostly military, and we can't have beards. So you can't lie. And if you have a beard, it's not, it can't be lined up and all that stuff. So I don't get clients that have beards in here. And that's pretty much my barber station right there. That is my barber station. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, subscribe. Like I said, if you want to see the, any review or unboxing of any of these clippers, <laughs> it's on my channel. You know what I'm saying? On the channel. You can find it there. I'm sweating. I need to turn the AC on. But I turned it off for it. So y'all don't have to hear all that stuff. But yeah. Whew. This is my barber station. Sorry it took so long to put this video out. 
Hopefully it's lengthy enough. I'm not gonna cut anything out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna upload it. I'm just gonna put the video, the, the clips together, upload it. Nice, thorough walk around of my barber station. And yes, this little thing right here is actually a, I'm gonna actually put this up. I'm gonna move this, let me take a picture. But they can, Oh, and I got this. I got this off of Amazon as well. So, yeah. Boom. There it is. That's the barber station, man. Like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Uh, Yeah. This took a long time to build up. Like, this took a long time to build up. But I appreciate y'all watching the video. Appreciate y'all supporting the channel. Uh, shout out to, I think your name is David. I hope I didn't get it wrong. But shout out to you for telling me to do this video. Start too soon to put it out. But... Hey, there you go. Nice, lengthy, long video. You see every clip that I have, what I do, blah, 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 all my stuff. So anyway, this video is going to be too long. It's going to be long as heck, probably like 30 minute video. So if you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe. Oh, I'll just show you guys down here. Dang, this video is going to be a little longer. Okay, we're almost done. All right, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. All right, so what's down here? I got some more do-rags. My capes are down here. My aprons are down here. Glass cleaner, holding spray. Uh, this is the solution like to clean your clippers when you put it in, in there. Not in here, but you gotta put it like in something else, maybe like the top or something, and you run your clippers through it. It's how you clean your, your clippers. I bought this because of COVID. You know, couldn't be too careful. I have my business cards in here. I don't give these away. I just use them for when I do enhancements because now I got that card, that poppy card. I have some more Quavina air compressor, uh, air compressors in here. I have this little air duster. I have some more stuff by uh, Hunter. You know, just some other mis miscellaneous stuff that I don't ever use. Uh, hand sanitizer. Some more clippers, uh, spray to clean your blades, some holding spray. I got some bottles back here, some spray bottles. And yeah, there we go. Now I can end the video. Now I can end it, cause I almost forgot to show y'all that. And if y'all really care, I got some hand san sanitizer up here by Jerry Rowe that came with my Jerry 2020 and 2020. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And that's the end of the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed this long ass video. Till the next time, peace.